okay so now we have uh, deactivated all the plugins so now this is the main website and I will be migrating it here to demo one dot this uh, subdomain so just for this tutorial I'm migrating my original website to a subdomain so this is where we will host our new website this is the old URL and this is the new website URL so just so first thing what we will need to do is go to the control panel of your website. So uh, first I'll log into the control panel. Okay, this is the control panel of your new host that you want to log in if you're migrating to a new website, uh, migrate to a new server, log into your new host cPanel. Okay, so now after going there, go to the file manager and locate the public HTML folder. So for demo purposes, I have created this folder demo and here I will upload all the two backup files, two backup package files we just created. Okay, so click on upload and then select the backup files and uh, I've saved it in downloads here. Okay, so select the first zip, first select the zip file. You can also use a FTP uploader. Uh, if you want, uh, but I prefer to you just simply use it directly upload that directly from the cPanel So depending upon your preference you can use either way either method to upload these files um, Okay, so I'm having a bit issue with my internet connection. So the upload speed is quite slow and uh, Yeah, so make sure that this the new host uh, where you are uploading this backup package files and um, so the upload is complete now I will click on go back to the file manager and here you can see both these files have been uploaded completely and what we need to do is access the installer.php file so go to the new domain <coughs> and just type slash installer dot php this should be the new domain where you um uh, you want the new web website so just uh, after if when you go to the installer dot php this page should open and then what you have to do is just check that all the tests are uh, it has passed so and here you can see some uh, more uh, advanced options you don't have to check it just click or uh, take the i have right terms and condition click next and then this will extract the archive files and now we are at step two we will need to have a database so what i like to do is create a new database so for that i will go to cpanel and if you're using any different panel, please, um, other than cPanel, please let me know in the comments and I will give you instruction how to uh, uh, create database in your different panel. If you're using cPanel, please just follow the on-screen instructions. First, I will create a new user and then I will create a new database. So what I'll do is just uh, demo.user. And I will just use generate a new password. Okay, sorry, I forgot to save it. Uh, make sure that before using the password, you save it in a notepad somewhere safe. So now, uh, first I will copy it and save it in a notepad. Okay, we will need to use this password in the next step, and then click on create user, and then go back. Sorry if this tutorial is a bit too fast, um, please let me know in the comments uh, if I should uh, remake this tutorial a bit slow. So then add this user to the database and grant it all privileges. So before doing that, what I will do is copy paste the database uh, user and password information here. So this is the user I just created and it is the database. So database. Uh, I didn't okay so from here you can get the database and user just copy and paste it exactly like this so uh, 
okay and then copy the password you can just paste the password here okay so now i will click on make changes and grant it all privileges and you will you should see the success message after granting it all privileges now what we have to do is test the database if the username uh, credentials is working and you should see this pass and good and then click on next and then click on ok so from here yeah, this is the website title it will grab this from the backup folder uh, if you want you can change it but um, I would reckon not recommend it um, you can change it after migrating a website from the WordPress dashboard so I think that is a much better way to do it so I will not change anything here just keep everything at default unless you see there's something wrong written here okay and if you want to uh, replace advanced more urls you will have to buy the duplicate pro version so if you want to buy the duplicate pro version please check the link in the description for a discount and if there any discount it will uh, be in the link in the uh, description so here you can see all the database tables and if you I uh, would suggest you to not make any changes i'm just showing you for the tutorial purpose and if you want you can select to deactivate not activate uh, some plugins but i would suggest you to not do it and if you don't want to activate all plugins deactivate it before creating your package and use it only if there's uh, no other way to do it so after that click on next again and then we'll uh, reach step three after step three the step four okay so our migration is complete and here you can see test site um, step four okay so it's done here you can see file note if there's if there, if there are any errors and this will show you here which error and uh, you should ideally see all the green there are no errors for me so no errors in database no errors in search and everything is uh, good so from here what you have to first will check the front end of our new website and see from here and uh, initially i showed you this one there was a text message here on this website and now you can see our we have successfully migrated our website this is the old website and we have successfully duplicated it uh, migrated it to uh, to our new domain demo one you can see in both website are uh, exactly same and work normally and from here you can compare the config.php file and if this is the original uh, on the left on right the the new config.php file and similarly you can compare the htaccess files new and original and um, if you want to change make any changes or if you want any uh, anything from your old htaccess file you can just copy it and go to cpanel file manager and edit it and add that to your new htaccess file so first i will click on reload and here you can see all the wordpress files okay so just click on this and if you want you can replace it okay but um you should know what you're doing only then you do it and if you want any help please let me know in the comments if i will be uh, if i will have time i will help you so if you are unable to do it yourself please let me know in the comments and i will be i will try to help you so what um i do not need to may uh, copy this file so okay so now let's check the admin area Okay, just click on I'm not a robot verification and then enter your uh, old website old password username password this will be same for both new and old site okay so now after login we have successfully logged into the WordPress dashboard and you should see that installer has clean installer file clean up ran and deleted all the files please make sure that you delete all the back backup package files else this can be a very major security issue 
for you as uh, anyone may be able to download these files and it will this contains every all of your website data so please make go to the cpanel file manager reload it and make sure that all the back all the plug all the backup files are gone are not accessible on the web so now i will just check the dashboard and see that everything is working perfectly on our new migrated website and you can see this exactly the same and uh, there are no errors or anything everything is working perfectly fine or i just should we just check the front end of the website and all the images are loading properly and everything is fine all the image URLs will be replaced and sorry i didn't i forgot to show you that but um, usually this is the this uh, all the image URLs are fixed so 